A Marvelous Mexican Misunderstanding by Evi Trantafidelius, illustrated by Nefli Malikau. Adri was horrified. He had been dreading this day for the past few months, ever since they moved back to Mexico. And now, day by day, it was getting closer and closer at an alarming rate. He could see it in people's eyes. He could sense it in the atmosphere on the streets. He could read it on every billboard and every screen he turned to. It was just impossible to escape from. The memory kept playing in his head over and over and over again. Oh, I'm so glad you're back, he remembered overhearing Aunt Chiqueta saying to Mom. And you're also back in time for the Day of the Dead. Adri will finally get to be part of it. Yes, I haven't told him any details yet. I want to keep it a surprise, Mom said. What? What? What, Dad? What surprise? Adri thought to himself. I got him a book on the Aztecs. This will explain everything. I will give it to him when the time is right, Mom continued. Hey, 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 why are you hiding? His sister Tiny ran up to him. Who are the Aztecs? What's the Day of the Dead? How will I be part of it? Does that make... Does that mean that I am going to die? He ex asked anxiously. Oh, well, she thought for a second. Yes, yes, of course you're going to die, Tani responded with excitement as she jumped at the opportunity to seize him. I'm too young to die, he screamed inside his head, but the scream was so loud it actually came out of his mouth. But you are going to, and there's nothing you can do about it. Tani, stop teasing your brother, and Adri, enough of this. Go clean your room or you won't be able to join the celebrations this weekend. In that case, I'm never cleaning my room. I will open the cupboards and throw everything on the floor. You're going to die. You're going to die. How do I know that you're not lying? You say Ermelindo doesn't love me, but, it, but toys can't speak. You say you have special witch powers, but you don't. But this time you said it first. Anyway, I have special powers. Why does mom say that you're teasing then? She's mom, duh. She wouldn't want you to be sad on your last day on earth. Yes, Tani was right, he thought to himself. For the first and last time ever, Tani was right. Halloween was now only a few days away, and the Day of the Dead weekend was just after that. Time was running out. And every day the reminders kept getting worse. I brought pan de muerto, day of the dead bread, the neighbor said two days before Halloween. You were on my mind when I bought it. I think you'll like it. Even the neighbors know! Adri, Tani, I brought your Halloween outfits. Tani, this one's for you. I know you've always wanted to be a magician, Dad surprised them the day before Halloween. Yay, thanks, Dad. You're the best. I'm never taking it off. Tani kissed him on the cheek. Adri, you never told me what outfit you'd like, so I decided a skeleton is the most appropriate. <coughs> Gulp. He froze. Okay, he got it. He was going to die. He didn't need constant reminders. I'm making calabasa and tancha. Your favorite, Mom said proudly on Halloween. I know how much you love it, and I and it couldn't be more suitable for the occasion. See, what did I tell you? Tiny whispered in his ear. She is trying to keep you happy. Always keep your favorite for the end, Mom's advice echoed in Adri's head. That way the memory will last. That's what she was doing now. The Day of the Dead was starting tomorrow. She was preparing his, di his last dish. Things were starting to get real. That night, his mind couldn't stop racing. Why was everyone being insensitive? How could they not be sad? Why were they so festive? They'd see, though. They would all miss him terribly. Oh, I miss you, greatest brother of all time. 
But it wasn't just his family. The next morning, the big day arrived, and yet another surprise was waiting for him. Everyone was out in the streets with faces painted like skulls. They were talking, laughing, cheering. Look at all these people celebrating, Mom pointed out as they squeezed their way through the crowds. Twelve, fifty-four, a hundred, possibly a thousand more people, and even more. The entire city was making fun of him. Adri, what's wrong? Why are you so upset? You know how much we love you, don't you? I know that moving was difficult, but we really do want the best for you. He couldn't understand how this was the best for him, but hearing his mom say that she loved him was all he needed at that point. And just like that, he gave her the biggest hug he'd ever given. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time tonight. The entire family is taking the boat to the island of Juanito, one of the loveliest places in the world. Just make sure you finish your homework first, Mom continued as they walked home. No more time for crying. The Day of the Dead celebrations only lasted for two days, so he had to act fast. It was time to face his fate and make the final arrangements. He opened his extremely precious diary, the one his grandmother had given him before she passed away, carefully took out two pieces of paper and started writing. His grandmother had instructed not to use it except in the most extraordinary of cases, but this was a very extraordinary case indeed. On the first piece of paper he wrote, My goodbye letter. I cannot understand why you want me to die. I'm such a good boy. I always tidy up my room. Well, maybe sometimes. If it's too untidy, I hide a couple of things under the bed. But still, it looks tidy. And if you think about that, that's what you asked for. And my homework is always done on time. Well, I guess it's time to confess that yesterday I copied my homework from Pablo, but I still wrote it in my own handwriting and put my name on it. Hmm, maybe I'm more difficult than I thought, and that's why you don't care if I die. But I want you to know that I forgive you, and I love you, and I will miss you. Even you, Tani. Adri. And then he had to take care of business. On the second piece of paper, he wrote, My will. To my dad, I leave all my money. All my 699.98 cent pesos. To my mom, I leave my ajolete. Ermelindo. I know that she doesn't like him, but I heard that when people lose a loved one, the best way to accept it and move on is to make changes. Anyways... Ermelindo will be will need a guardian when I'm gone, and my mom is the best in the world. Finally, to my sister Tani, I leave all my trompos and marionetas under two conditions. One, never change the clothing of my of my marionetas, especially into something with flowers. Two, always spin my trompos fast so that they make at least 20 turns. He made a complex-looking signature to match the seriousness of the letters, then folded the papers, put them in two envelopes, and wrote on each one, To be opened when I die. The ride to the island of Yanitio was the most stunning ride he had ever taken. It felt like a fairy tale. The boats were filled with people carrying flowers and offerings, and fishermen dressed in traditional outfits. Everything was lit up by candles, and there was something that made the entire setting, well, magical. Wow, this must be the nicest way to die. When they arrived at the island, they walked to a graveyard. Was it time to face his fate? Yikes, fear was black. Isn't this wonderful? And tomorrow you'll get to visit Grandma, Mom whispered. Did mom talk to her? How did she know he would see grandma? He did miss her dearly, but still wasn't ready to leave his family. Where would he find her anyway? How would they talk? Perhaps he would have to learn the language of the Aztecs who had started the whole thing in the first place. And how would he die? Would the Aztecs pick him up in a canoe, an airplane, or maybe a spaceship? A spaceship would be really cool. Or he could fly. Yes, flying would be even cooler. Then again, he didn't know how to fly. What if he fell? Oof, dying was more complicated than he thought. 
Adri, stay close, his mom cried as Adri moved away, lost in his thoughts. Take my hand, I don't want to lose you. This is it. Oh no, this was it? The crowd was standing still, looking at the sky, as if everyone was waiting for something. Was the Aztec spaceship coming? He swallowed. His heart started beating fast, and then faster and faster. It was going to explode. No! Pop, swish, crackle, pop, swish, pop. What was happening? He slowly opened one eye. He could still see Tani's braids, but there was a different light to them. Then he turned toward his mom. She was still there. Did he survive? He opened both eyes and looked around. Hmm, everything seemed the same. Then, looking up, he saw that the sky was filled with fireworks. Fireworks popping, crackling, swishing. Hey, are you still alive? Tani turned towards him. Um, he pulled on his mother's skirt. Mom, when am I going to die? He whispered so that Tani couldn't hear him. Adri, you're not going to die. What do you mean? So who's going to die? No one is going to die, silly. Please stop worrying. The Day of the Dead helps us remember all those who have passed away. It's one of the happiest celebrations of the year. A time when everyone comes together to honor what we love and what we miss. It's a reminder of what's special and important. The best way to remember all the people we've lost and cherish our precious memories with them. To remember and warm our hearts with kindness, joy, and love. Well, why didn't they say so? The next day was one of the best days of his life. In the morning, they went to church and then visited his grandmother's gravestones. Whenever they visited Abuela in the past, everyone was sad. But not that day. That day, the whole family was happy. Aunt Chiqueta, Uncle Rodriguez, and Aunt Guadalupe, and his two cousins, Pablo and Rosa, were all there. They had a marvelous picnic, ate delicious sweet sugar skulls, and remembered funny stories of Grandma. Later at home, they all played games and laughed for hours. And while usually his mom made him go to bed early, this time she let him stay up until midnight. What a lovely, lovely day of the day of the dead was. At night, going to his room to sleep, he found Tani sitting on his bed. She was holding... His goodbye letter and his will. Oh, you love me and you will miss me. Hey, give me that. Mom, Adrian didn't do his homework this weekend. He copied it from Pablo. Oh, great. 